Today I'm going to be doing maintenance on a Navian tankless water heater. And it looks, at first glance, it looks like it's complicated, but it's not. I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to do a quick anatomy. Yours might be set up a little bit different, but this is the basic of it. You've got a gas line that runs inside to actually turn on the fire that heats the water. You have you have the cold water comes in through here, goes up this way and goes inside the water tank, comes out this side as hot water and goes to the rest of the house. Before we flush the system, we're going to clean the recirculating inlet. Yours may not have this. This is on the A2 model. Mine does have it. And it's right there. So what we're going to do to begin this, I'm going to turn off the gas supply. I'm going to turn the power off to the unit. Power's off. I'm now going to turn off the water main to the hot water tank. If you don't have that on your hot water tank, you're going to have to turn off the water to the entire house. I've turned off the water to this hot water tank and I went and opened up one of the hot water valves on one of the faucets. So we do have an open faucet for hot water right now. Plug is back in place. I'm going to remove the hot side filter now. This is the hot filter. Here's the hot filter. Actually, it looks pretty clean, but you want to do is just rinse this off. So I'm going to rinse it off. You can see a little bit up here at the top. I'm going to remove the cold side now. This one has a little bit more debris in it, so we're going to clean this out again, just like we did the other side. Cold side filter is clean. I'm going to put that back in. Filters and the plug are reinstalled, and now it's time where we can actually flush the system with the white vinegar. I have four gallons of white vinegar. I'm going to put it all in the bucket. This is the bucket with four gallons of white vinegar. I'm going to close these bottom two valves.
what these valves do. This allows cold water to come in from the outside and then the hot water then goes through here back to the house. So by shutting these off, this is shutting off all the water to and from the house. So when we open these two valves, that's just going to circulate inside the heat exchanger. Take these covers off. For materials, I'm using a submersible pump. Got a small hose here. And I've got another half hose right there. And the bucket with the four gallons of vinegar, white vinegar. This is what I got so far. Submersible pump. You can see that hose is going over here to the cold side. On the hot side, I've got that, this half one that's coming out. I have not opened these valves yet. Place the submersible pump into here. I've got the other end going right there. I'm going to open these valves now. So what that's done is that now is going to be able to circulate just through the hot water itself. These valves here are off. I don't want it to go to the rest of the house. I just plugged in the pump and it's circulating through these. You gotta let this run for about 45 minutes to an hour. You can see how it's returning from the tank back into the bucket. Okay, so this ran for about 50 minutes, so almost an hour, and I unplugged it. So what I'm going to temporarily do now is I'm going to shut the valve that goes into the heater on both sides. That way I can remove these hoses. We still have vinegar in the system, so we need to get that out. I'm going to hook up a hose to the hot end return. Um, I have a hose that goes to a sump pump, so I'm going to hook that up right now. Or you could simply turn the water on and flush it out with a bucket. I have the hose hooked up now, and this, this hose is going to a sump pump. So I'm going to reopen this valve. And over on this side, I want the water to flow in from the tank or from wherever your water source is. It's going to go through the heater. It's going to come out here to the sump pump to get that vinegar out of the system. So you leave this one shut, open this one up. And then open up the water valve. Now water's now going through the tank, it's coming out this hose, and it's going out back into the sump pump. I'm going to let this run for a few minutes. Okay, this is run for a couple minutes. Turn the water back off. I'm just going to leave this open for now because it doesn't matter, the water's turned off here. Turn this valve back off. And now I'm going to take off this hose. I've removed the hose, turned the unit back on. This valve is obviously off, and that one there.
caps back on. And now I'm going to open the valve to the rest of the house, which is this valve here. So these are what the valves look like. And kicked on real quick. Everything looks like it's correct. And it's all set. Thanks for watching.